In today's video, we're going to be having a look at the E2046 Gathering pre-painted 1 8th statue of Berserker. If I grab the tape measure, I'll tell you exactly how tall the Berserker statue stands. If you not count the blade, Berserker is about eight and a half inches in height. However, if we just spin the statue around and we take measurements up to the top or point of its large blade, Berserker's statue is closer to 13 inches in height. After you've purchased this statue from the folks over at E2046, they deliver it in a very well-packed, secure box. Everything inside is wrapped up in foam, and then they've put supporting pieces of foam around it. You get it out of the box, it consists of three parts, three components. Uh, you get the main statue, the main berserker. You get the very broad bra uh, blade, as you can see right here, and this will just plug into the top of the hilt. And then a piece that may get overlooked of the three pieces, you get this extra piece that's at the bottom of the wrappings uh, around the hilt. This is a part that almost gets lost, so if you do pick up these statues for yourself, I find the easiest way to find these smaller parts is of all the foam that they pack in to kind of care for the figure or the statue before as it's being delivered to you, look for the foam that has tape wrapped around it and cutting the tape and opening it up you'll find an, a bag inside that will be this little extra little extra tail of the strapping uh, then to put everything together because it's only three components it's very really straightforward but they also include an instruction guide showing you how everything comes together now there's again only three components so it is extremely easy the assembly guide for product code pf9400 the 1 8 berserker pre-painted and down below you've got e2046.com so let's go ahead and get everything put together. We'll kind of very carefully grab the Berserker here. And you just want to take the blade. Now, if I can show you here, the blade hilt has almost a crescent moon shape to it, which, is, as you can see, is not a perfect square socket on the inside. So you know right away which way it's supposed to go. Now, putting it into the hilt, there we go. Just lining everything up and making sure everything is, is lined up properly. There we go. I still, despite the fact of lining up the shapes, I still managed to get the wrong. There we go. And then, if hopefully the camera will pick this up, I'll just kind of zoom in here to the hilt portion. I'm going to go ahead and take these little little tail end of it, which basically is the end wrappings of what's wrapped around the handle portion of the broad blade. There's a little hole, and I don't know if you can see it. It's right there. You're going to take this little tiny plug, this little tiny plug on the end of it, and that's going to fit right into that hole. Now, what you can always do too, what you can always do is add a little bit of glue. That's entirely up to you. The blade, I don't think, needs it as much, but I will say that that little, that little end of piece, that little bottom part of the handle, is one thing I would probably consider gluing. Because it doesn't seem like it really stands and stays in place all that well. So if you are somebody that's planning on permanently displaying this and never really packing away, a little bit of glue, a little dollop of glue in the handle portion and a little bit of glue right there, you can really put everything together and then you don't necessarily have to worry about pieces like this necessarily falling out. The Berserker though is a beautiful looking piece. You can see he's standing atop of a little stone pillar, which has some equally nice paint not as much paint as really the rest of the piece but still some really excellent looking sculpt here on the very small narrow very strip of uh, stonework that he's standing on top of i do like also that the cape that he is wearing is kind of cascading down and then draping in front of the little stone the little stone platform that he's standing on top of it really adds to a nice dynamic effect and really makes the piece show quite quite nicely on display. So let's have a look at some of the, the individual details at the 1 8th scale Berserker. He's an armored clad soldier. Uh, again, making use of really a lot of just simplistic grays, but don't let the grays fool you. They've added a lot of extra little care and detail to the paint work that's done to the, the actual character here. Now underneath all this armor, you'll see there is a figure, but you can't quite make out what's going on underneath all the armor. I really like this kind of wolf-like uh, armor headpiece that he wears. 
but underneath all that armor is this what I can only describe as kind of a rust colored very wrinkled kind of aged looking body underneath that not only do you get the rusted red but they also add highlights of a beige color in there as well to really make all those little wrinkled areas pop on this particular statue other than that really most if not all the the statue is of this lighter gray which in person actually comes across a little bit more like a greenish gray though through camera it actually comes across more like a lighter gray the little accent areas here the same similar rusted red gets also dry brushed uh, over top of that that gray here on the armor so it really brings the armor to very similar color tones as the body that's underneath here so you see the one arm is draping down while the other arm is holding this giant blade which is about the same size as the berserker himself the blade has some really nice rich red undertones and then you've got this kind of gunmetal hammered out center portion of the blade the bottom end looks as if it's been maybe soaked with blood or just doused with the the blood of maybe of the fallen that's gone up against the berserker here Again, you've got that little piece that I probably will end up gluing just because I find that that piece just wants to fall out a lot. But everything comes together quite nicely. Really, my favorite aspect of the, the, the statue, above and beyond the fact that it's just got a really neat lunging pose to it, is the fact it's got this giant blade. And this is very similar to what another piece, coincidentally enough, that I picked up at E3024, uh, E2046, I should say. And that was the Pyramid Head um, from Silent Hill. And it had a giant blade as well. So it's very similar that I just looked at, coincidentally enough, I looked at the Silent Hill Pyramid Head probably several years ago, to which I'll probably do a re-review of him. But interesting, I seem to really like figures that have really broad weapons. And... Berserker definitely has that. Now, looking at the statue as well, it does seem as if it's a statue that would have a tough time standing by the nature of the way that the figure kind of is leaning forward. And then, of course, you've got the top heaviness of the blade. Does the figure or does the statue actually stand? And it does stand, but I would, I would say just a little bit of a nudge. You can kind of start getting momentum going and the statue could topple. Luckily, though, it seems to be in a proper placement that if you generally just leave it alone it should be able to stand perfectly fine it's a again a beautiful looking representation a beautiful looking sculpt and even though the paint is somewhat subtle here on berserker i think it really does shine as an excellent showpiece now one benefit of picking up the berserker right now is the folks over at e2046 have a sale originally this guy in canadian prices because of here i am in canada if I was to originally pick this guy up, he was at $243, about $244. They have now since put a markdown price on this guy for a pre-order release of $189.78. So I think it saves about 20 or so percent off the initial price of what they were charging. But right now he's currently on pre-order over at E2046. So if you guys are interested in picking this guy up for yourself, I'll put a link down below. You can head over to the website and order this guy today. I think fans of kind of like the kind of like the fantasy middle earth sort of battle sort of stories we definitely want to add this one to your collection because i really think it's got a cool looking presence to it and i especially really like the broad blade that the berserker is wielding in his hand uh, a really cool looking statue today we were having a look at the gathering this was the pre-painted one eighth scale berserker statue if you guys also want to check out some previously looked at e2046 reviews i've also got a playlist on this channel including the Silent Night, Deadly Night, or Silent Hill, I should say. Did I say Silent Night, Deadly Night? The Silent Hill Pyramid Head. It's Christmas time. I must be thinking Silent Night, Deadly Night. But the Pyramid Head from Silent Hill. If you guys want to pick, uh, guys want to have a look at that review, I've done a review uh, previously. I might even really go back and have a look at that guy again because I really like the look of that statue. And of all the things I picked up from E2046, that one is my particular favorite. Also, I really like Pyramid Head, so it probably goes without saying. If you guys haven't had a chance to hit that little subscribe button down below, don't miss your chance. Hit that little subscribe button. You'll never miss a beat when it comes to future videos. And like I said, if you want to go back and check out previous E2046 reviews, i got a playlist there that you can check out and watch at your viewing pleasure. Thanks for watching as you always do, guys. I'll see you next time.